So previously we left off with these three items. I have the Leviton VRCS4 uh, MR, so it has a, an internal load that can turn on and off. It's a scene controller with four scenes. Uh, GE Dimmer 12724 and the GE Switch 12722. So I set these up in my Vera and I programmed the load button on a scene so you can turn it on and off. I programmed the second button to turn on the dimmer on and, and off and I programmed the GE switch using a scene also to go on and off and you can see that these independently work fine all three buttons they go on and off I didn't program this fourth button yet uh, one thing that you can note here is that this will turn on this light but the up and down buttons won't do anything so Vera if you uh, do where if you got to a point where I've been at here it doesn't associate these two together so you have to do that separately and that's what I'm going to show you now so just again on my user interface there for Vera I've got the items I have the the VRCS4 and then its internal load Vera calls it appliance module I didn't change that you can change that name if you'd like uh, the GE dimmer and the GE switch. So now to uh, show you how to get the up and down buttons on the scene controller to work you really need to just go into the scene controller into the device options and we need to set the group ID so the switch the dimmer is set up on the second button so that would be group 2. So you add that group first to the VRCS4. Say OK. And then we want to set. So we want to click the GE dimmer. And all we do is hit save. So that's one end of it. So now Vera will associate the VRCS4 with the dimmer. But now we need to go back. We're not done yet. we'll need to go into the GE dimmer and and perform the other side of the association and you can see that it set this to 165 which is the device ID of the GE dimmer so that's under the VRCS4 so you go back to devices and go to the GE dimmer and you go down to device options and remember that was group 2 that we added onto the scene controller and we add that group Yeah, I'm going to do this again. I've had this issue before where I put it in there and it didn't seem to like it. It's there, but it doesn't show up. So I'm going to go back out. Go back into the dimmer. Show the device options again. And there it is. So it, it, it didn't automatically come back as it did with the VRCS4. So now I'm going to set that give it a minute to get ready like it completed so we should be able to go in here turn on the dimmer 
and now we ought to be able to control it. So it does work. So now that dimmer will be controlled with these buttons. And then we can turn that off. And there, now you have the the up and down dimmer buttons controlling the GE dimmer.